Alright, what's up YouTube? I'm here to do my recap of <coughs> UFC Fight Night uh, Swanson vs. Stevens. I'm going to start at the bottom. So, Oslinky vs. Hamilton was a pretty quick fight. They threw some punches, Slinky hit him with some big shots, took him down, and got him in a scarf fold headlock, which was kind of like an, a head and arm choke, but from the side. You don't see that that often, so that was pretty cool. Ray Borg versus Shane Howell. That was pretty, you know, pretty fast. First round, he took him down, took his back. Ray Borg, Ray Borg got the rear naked choke. I thought that was pretty obvious. Um, next fight was Andy Enns versus Marcelo. Um, Marcelo did really good. I didn't think his striking was going to be that good. He clearly improved a lot. All three rounds were basically Andy ends just kind of getting kicked in the leg a lot, and he didn't move forward as much as he should have, didn't attack as much as he should have. But you know, it happens. After that, we had Cody Gibson versus Johnny Bedford, and I thought that was a bad stoppage. I don't know about you guys, but I thought Johnny Bedford he hurt Cody Gibson really early in that first round, and then he got dropped. And when he fell back, he looked like he had his guard up, like he was ready to catch him. And when Cody Gibson fell into his guard right before the ref came, to me it looked like he was about to grab him and pull him into his guard and then the ref stopped it. So it looked like he was hurt obviously. I think the ref could have let him have, you know what I mean? It's one of those things where if Cody Gibson had punched him one more time and he was out, it would have been fine with it. But it looked like Johnny was starting to recover. So yeah, I think it was a bad stoppage. I think they could have let Cody Gibson throw one or two more punches. Next we had Carlos Diego Ferreira versus Colton Smith. This fight was really quick too. This fight was only like 30-40 seconds. Carl Ferreira got a judo takedown. He did that hip toss. Um, he didn't put hooks in or anything. He just did kind of almost a bulldog rear naked head, rear naked choke to Colton Smith. and um, No hooks. Like I said, almost a bulldog choke and super quick. Only like 40 seconds. Good job for him. Next we had main card. Joe Allenberger versus James Moonstar, and I thought the first round clearly went to James. I thought he dropped, you know, he dropped Joe. I think once or twice. Um, I, I give that one 10-9 to James. Um, uh, Joe, I thought clearly won the second. He got a lot of takedowns and he did a lot of top control. And then it was one to one going into the third, and I thought that um, <coughs> the first half of the round Joe won. And then the last half of the round, James won. So it could have went either way. And Joe won by split decision. So, you know, like I said, I thought it was really close. <laughs> the next fight I didn't think was close. I thought the first round, Clint was on the bottom for like four minutes. I, don't, I, I thought Braganetto won that first round pretty clearly. The second round was almost the same. I mean, half the round, Braganetto was in mount almost. I didn't think Clint did enough damage when they were on the feet to warrant him winning that round. I thought Braganetto won the second round. I gave Clint the third because he was on top pretty much that whole round, but they gave it to Clint and I didn't think he won the second. I thought being in mount for over half the round doesn't, just because he threw some decent punches early. He never dropped him or anything. He just was landing some pretty decent strikes, so I thought that was a bad decision, but you know, it happens. Clint Hester won that one by swift decision. Next we had Ricardo Lamas by, against Hacker and Diaz. This fight was, all the fights are kind of boring on the main card it, until the main event. But, um, <coughs> Lomas was basically able to, you know, he moved forward every round, pushing him against the fence every round, did that fence ground and pound stuff, and then he won, I think, 30 27 on all, all the decision. Next we had Cesar Ferreira versus Andrew Craig. This fight was really good. I thought Cesar Ferreira, you know, the first round, he tried to dive on some guillotines and stuff. He got a couple takedowns. I thought he won that round. The second round was pretty was closer. I still thought Caesar won it by a little bit. He was I thought he was just throwing the cleanest strikes. He was moving really good. And um the third round I thought Caesar, you know, he really early he got a takedown and landed an elbow and cut Craig open really big. And for f I hate it when refs or the judges I mean We'll give a guy an entire round just because he drops in the last 30 seconds. I remember that happened a long time ago against um, Chico Camus and um, Chico Camus and um, I 
forget the guy's full name, but it was Kang. I know it was his last name. The guy was on top for like four and a half minutes, and then Shigo Camus dropped him with an up kick, and he won that round. And I didn't. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with a guy winning four and a half minutes, and then he gets dropped the last 30 seconds, and he loses the whole round. So I think all the judges scored at 29-28, but I thought Caesar won the whole fucking fight. You know what I mean? Like I said, you win 30 seconds, you don't win a round. Um, next with Kelvin Gastelum versus Nicholas Masoke. And the first round I thought Masoke won. He did a really good job with his wrestling. Kept Gastelum down for most of the fight. The second round I thought Gastelum clearly won. He was moving forward and just landing, you know, really good strikes the whole round. He had him against the fence and looked like he might have been able to finish him a couple times. But Masoke did a good job of keeping his guard up and just uh, weaving. The third round, I thought Kelvin won, but I thought Masoki did a much better job in that round. And in my personal opinion, when guys don't make weight, <laughs> you sh they should almost not even. You should hold that against them. In my opinion, you don't make weight. That's some bullshit. But whatever. If you got them 129, 28 on all cards. The main event. The main event was super exciting. I thought Jeremy Stevens won the first two rounds. Um, you know. It was just a really technical fight, the whole fight. And then I thought Cub won 3, 4, and 5. I thought it was going to be fight of the night. I think it is a contender for fight of the year. Um, that's about it. I'm going to have my video up for UFC 175 um, probably either today or tomorrow. So hope you guys watched that. And this is it. See you guys later.